Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scott here, bringing you another great fun time episode. Scott, as we continue to build this amazing modern house, and in today's episode, we finish up the project with our very last building episode. That's right, a lot of episodes have gone by. We've created one marvelous place, but let's finish this up by building one super awesome zen garden all right and welcome back and it has been quite some time since i last made my last minecraft video but it's really good to be back after going to e3 and seeing all the awesome things but nothing better than getting home and starting up making minecraft videos again for my favorite people and that's you guys the scars it's such good 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 to be back i'm just so glad and um, yeah, so here we go. So in our last episodes, of course, we built the uh, the tree here and the swing and the ball and the big lawn and the gazebo and all sorts of other cool things around here. But it's time to finish our very last project. And that is we're going to make a little kind of a maybe a little bit Japanese themed um, kind of Zen garden right here. We're going to have a little uh, kind of creek lake thing right here. We have a little bridge there and has some uh, trees coming over here, a waterfall and things like that. So let's get started. So we're first going to kind of build up a little bit of a perimeter around here. There we go. Give it a little bit of buffer room right there. Perfect. Might want to back that off a piece there and get that started here. So like I said, this is our very last episode of building for this particular series on this house. So we're going to now move into the big tour. So the final tour of the house and then we'll go to what I'm thinking. I want to get your guys' opinion right off here if this is something you guys would like to see. And I mentioned this before. And let me just check to make sure we're doing good here. All right, good. Um, what I want to know is should we do the critique video where we, we do the tour, we look at all the cool stuff we built, and then we go back one more time in the house and in the gardens and things and look around for areas that we did well in and not so well and how we can improve in the future so let me know yes or no on our critique video of the house so i'll go through there and i'll uh, you know critique myself and uh you know make mentions of things how this is how i should do it next time and how i should do it better you know so let me know i'm kind of looking forward to that because i watch a lot of videos um on youtube a lot of photography videos and some of the best ones i've ever seen were ones where professional photographers kind of uh, critiqued their work a little bit. And in the video, you guys, you know, let me know what you guys liked and uh, what you didn't like, what we could do better in the videos and stuff so we can continue to make better content. Okay, there we go. Just getting this all kind of sorted out and good so we get a nice little water canal going. And I'm liking it very much. So I think I'm going to go boom, whoop, whoop. No, I didn't go boom. Now I went boom. Um, let's see. Let's try to work out our waterfall a little bit. That's a little big. That's a little bit big for our waterfall. Let's back that off just a little bit. And let's see here. Let's get out that. Try to kind of build up these walls just a little bit. I don't want it to flow too much. I want it to be kind of a small waterfall. Let's see. How are we working there? Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's just um, say we're going to cut it in half right there. And yeah, I like it. I like it. And guess what? I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we got that. So let's just make this area just a little bit beefier. So we'll just add just a little bit of... All right, there we go. Yeah, so just kind of beef up these walls a little bit so the uh, waterfall looks like it's kind of nestled within here. There we go. Get that all in there. Perfect. I love making waterfalls. I love it. I've been making waterfalls since uh, alpha days in Minecraft. I used to just go up on the hill and just make a terrible looking one. One would cover the whole uh, hill and I'm like, yeah, that's so awesome. Now I'm like, you know, carefully like, you know, sculpting it into the mountain and stuff like that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to add a little bit more rock in here and then just kind of uh, change it up a little bit there. Maybe add a piece here or there just to give this area a little bit of variety with material wise. But yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. So a little bit sad to see the project go. We've, it's been a, quite a whirlwind of a project. We've built a ton of stuff. It's taken quite a while, almost a year, but I feel like it's we did a lot. We did a lot of stuff. We really went step by step, and hopefully you guys maybe uh, learned a few things, picked up some things. You guys have actually taught me quite a few things along the way, so it's been a ton of fun, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of new projects and things and um, kind of get my hands on some new stuff, um, new blocks and some new designs and things. 
So yeah, I am looking really forward to uh, to starting this more house. Now, if you follow me on uh, the Twitter, I post quite a few little you know tidbits on what's coming in the future to the channel and things like that. And um, I've been talking about the s'more house. Now, the s'more house is a house that I think looks like a delicious s'more. And it's uh, got all the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate and the marshmallows as the quartz and things. And uh, I think it'll look really cool. I'm excited to, uh, to start that project. Now, I was going to go with a rustic house, but something about the s'more house. I'm just like, you know what? That needs to be built and that needs to be built. Ooh, what's down here? Oh, what's, let's go and investigate in the world. Oh. Ooh, an abandoned mine shaft. That's all below us, I guess. Ha, <laughs> that's great. But um, like I was saying, I, I built that, and I'm like, this needs to be built. This needs to be have the uh, seen by the by the uh, super awesome scars. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is starting to turn out really nice. Okay, so now we're just gonna slowly kind of add some little bit of plant life here. So maybe stick a plant thing there. And these are just bushes kind of acting as just a little bit of decoration and maybe a few flowers here or there. We don't want to go too crazy with the flowers, but just, just a few here or there. There we go. And then we can put a few of these guys here and put some ferns in here. We could put some thicker ferns in the back, of course, and then just kind of fill in this area to give it some uh, personality, a little bit of color, not too much, just a little bit. You were there. And then this little opening spot right here, just a small little uh, bridge just across the way. Nothing too fancy here. Just a simple bridge there to um, to get us across and just add a little extra detail, just a little something nice to look at. Okay, there we go. Well, that is starting to look pretty darn good. So give me one second. Let me catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And look at that sunset rising above the uh, gazebo. Isn't that cool? I think that looks really awesome. All right, so we're going to build a little tree up here. Something that kind of hangs over here. And I'm trying to, I was thinking about doing it over there, and I still might, but I'm going to work on something here. It kind of hangs over this little cliff a little bit. Just kind of reaches out, just touches this area a little bit. So just kind of nestling it in there a little bit. Try to beef that side up just a little bit and come about right there. There we go. So then we'll just kind of fill up the top here. It's not going to be too bushy of a tree like our big oak trees or anything like that. Just really simple, really simple branches coming out like that. I was going to build a tree. It's one of my favorite trees. It's like a Japanese maple. But yeah, I just don't feel like this is the best um, spot for it. So I'm going to do something like this instead for now. We'll do that on another bill at another time. There we go. And I'm going to come down right about there. So let's come down here. And ooh, I like that, but it's a little awkward being way up in the air like that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I don't know. I don't know. That is the question. Let's play with it a little bit and then we'll see. So let's just add a few extra little bushes along here and then we can maybe add a couple extra big ferns up here like that. There we go. Just a few of them up there just to give us a little bit of sense of scale at the moment. And we'll, we'll think about it for a little bit. Come down like that. Now I'm thinking about doing one more right about here and then we'll kind of have it, you know, rise up here a little bit and maybe kind of veer off a little bit like that. There we go. And then we'll have it kind of come over here. There we go. Try to get over here without bouncing into those things. It would be kind of cool if creative mode had a way of going through blocks. You know, that would be pretty cool if there was a way you could kind of toggle it on and off and you could kind of fly through blocks. That would be really easy to get around this other tree right at the, about this moment. There we go. So what do you think? Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I still feel like it needs a little bit of balancing, possibly even just a really small version of one of those trees right here. So let's cut away at that. And then we'll just kind of bring this guy out over our little pond, our little Zen pond. There we go. Put that right about there. So something like that. I'm feeling like that might be cool. It might be cool. So this is just somewhere maybe one of the people in the family like to make a little bit of a garden zen area over here. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's that's cool. I feel like that's finally kind of come together a little bit. And I think that's pretty cool. What does it look like on this side? Yeah, maybe a little bit more work. A little bit more work. A little more here and there. So just get that up there a little bit more. 
Yeah, I'm liking this now. I like I like how these two trees kind of come together and really make kind of a really kind of calm and collected area over here. Well, I guess that's what a Zen garden really is. Calm and calm and collected. Okay, so we're just going to put some a little bit of river rock on the sides here. And oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. No, we're going to turn that off. If I had the power, I'm going to use it. Okay, good. I like that. We can just add a few, you know, kind of down here at the bottom like that. I think that looks good. Nice. Okay, so give me one more second here. Let me catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And we got our trees kind of put up here. Now we're going to work on our bridge. Got some more cobblestone built up there and a little bit on the cliffs there. So we just need to add a few more plant life along this area right here. Just give it a little bit of personality. There we go. Good. So getting that up there. And then we'll just continue to kind of fill in up here and add as much detail as we can to get as much in there. I see how I've kind of added a little bit of bushes and some of our orchids throughout there. So first thing we need to do here is start our little bridge. So it's nothing too fancy right here. Just a simple little bridge to get from place to place. So right there. And then that's not going to work. So we'll just bring that across here like that. Perfect. So just a really simple little uh, bridge to step over the little uh, water canal right there. And I think that looks nice. Nothing too fancy, just something super simple and no railings or anything. I think that looks nice. Kind of uh, Zen like maybe. <laughs> All right, good. So we got that done. So I'm looking over here and I'm feeling like we need another one of those trees, probably somewhere around here. So we're going to put something about right there. And then I want it to actually come up this way. So I'll knock that piece off and then I'll kind of have it come up here. Maybe bring that one down there like that and then come over one. Now I also wanted to add maybe just a little root system for this guy right there. I think that looks nice. And then we'll just add a little top to it up here. Yeah, I like this design here. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Get that across here like so. And for the uh, for our next house, especially for its garden area, because of course we're working on our garden here, it'll be a much different design. It'll be much more manicured and more uh, a little bit more modern. Whereas this house was kind of a combination of I feel like it was somebody really enjoyed gardening, so they like to have kind of a lot of different plant life and things. Whereas the other one, it's a little more sterile, a little bit more you know just kind of plain design. But I think it'll match the house really well. For that particular design I built quite a bit of the house to kind of get a sense of how we're gonna build it and make sure you know the video runs smoothly so we don't have too many obstacles so I've actually for this house I built a good portion of it already just kind of tinkering around playing with things but um, I think that'll be uh, I think it's gonna be a really fun house guys I think when we get to the s'more house and we're getting into that I think you guys are really going to um, enjoy the uh, enjoy that house a lot and of course, I really want to do it much quicker. I want it to be done quick because there's so many other houses I want to build. And I want to do my videos a little bit quicker now. So like, uh, as you see, this video was uploaded, or two of them this week, so we could get to the tour next week sooner and then we can get to the Spore House uh, project. So you'll start to see these videos a little bit faster. Scarland videos, they're probably still gonna be, a, you know, maybe I'll get a, a random Sunday video in, but those are more difficult to do twice a week. But I'm definitely gonna try to get these ones out a little bit faster. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy it because that is a much requested thing is have these uh, a little bit more frequent. And uh, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work hard on that. Still trying to find a mod pack to, uh, replace the Hexit series, but I, you know, I just still haven't found anything that caught my fancy yet, but eventually, eventually we'll get something really nice going there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I really like that. Really like that. It's got that just, you know, tamed enough feeling where it's a little bit kind of wild, but it's also a little bit uh, cleaned up, manicured a little bit. Oh, I like that a lot. So let's actually get you right there. Perfect. Nice. I like that a lot. And I like having just the, uh, the pot soil down here and then having the grass kind of up there where it's a little bit more wild. And um, yeah, I think we have finally completed this area of the garden. We've got our nice little Zen garden with our modern gazebo at the top. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll 
See you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And then we're going to bring that up like that because this is my favorite design. This is this really truly is one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft is the carpet. There's so many possibilities you can do with the carpet block. You know, you take it and you're just able to to manipulate it in many cool and different ways. I call these like the micro uh, detail blocks, you know, like